Self Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. I want to say hello and welcome and thank you for hanging out with me for an episode of Self Love is the New Sexy. And this morning's or today's message is going to be a little unique and maybe slightly preachy, but I'm kind of feeling really inspired. Not that I am not inspired on the other mornings, but I know that I'm meant to say this today just because it's been playing loud and clear in my life and the message came through loud and clear this morning. So uh, I know I want to deliver this. And it's simply this, you know, what do I mean by sexy? You know, when people oftentimes read the name of my podcast, they, you know, it can be confusing or at least you can have a question like, you know, what does he mean by sexy? What, why is that even important in relationship to self-love? And I want to explain a little bit about what I mean by sexy and why it's so important and why I attach it to self-love. So sexy is, I mean, you know, you think about it when you think about anything that you think is sexy. We all have our own notion, our own imagery, our own thoughts and impressions when we hear the word sexy and definitely so when we see it. And, you know, the first thing that I think about are the commercials, the advertisements, you know, depending on where you live right now, if you live in the States, then you know, sex sales, right? It's in everything, every, every billboard, every commercial, online, you know, you see it all over the place. And typically when you, you know, think about sexy, there's either a guy or a girl or both, and they're typically in bathing suits or half naked or something, you know, very revealing or, you know, something very extravagant. And those are all images that go along with the connotation of sexy. But I want to go a level deeper than that. When you look at these people and you see them in the ad or you see them in the commercials or you see them in movies or, you know, if you've got people who you think are sexy in your real life, I want you to think about it. And if you think you're, you are sexy, you know, it's quite all right. And matter of fact, that's why I'm doing the podcast is because you should think of yourself as being sexy. But when you think about someone who's sexy, I want you to ask the question, what makes them sexy? What makes you feel like that person or yourself or, you know, what makes you think that they feel that they're sexy? Well, it's the way that they carry themselves. It's the inner confidence that they have. It is that balance of ego, Because a lot of times people will think that ego is a bad thing. And my mentor, Matt Kahn, has reiterated over and over again that, no, we need the ego. The ego is a good thing as long as it's serving us and it's been integrated into who we are. We can't let the ego run our lives. That's when it's out of control and that's when it's not a good thing. But we do need that inner ego because... It's what allows us to have that confidence, that swag. It's it's what allows us to feel really good about ourselves. It's what allows us to step out there when we're afraid. It's what allows us to be vulnerable. It's what allows us to be loving. So that when I talk about being sexy, it's really just that inner feeling that, you know, you're supposed to be here, that you are deserving that you are ready for whatever happens, even if it's not so good or so enjoyable. Because, you know, let's face it, life is just a whole big chain of events. That's right. That's really all it is at the at the essence of it. At the core root, life is a chain, a long chain of events and how you handle them, how you respond to them. 
regardless of how you look at it, if you just think about your life, it's just one event to the next event and how you handle it, how you manage it. Does it drive you crazy? Do you flow with it? Do you handle it? Do you take care of it? You know, are you afraid of it? Or are you like confident that you can overcome it, that you can deal with it? You know, that's all life is. And so you can choose in that in and of itself to be sexy about it, to be sexy about everything. Um, and so here's um, so I'll give you a quick example because I'm going to make this episode somewhat short today because I want to get in and out. But um, the latest example is uh, I am, for lack of a better term, you know, not really dating right now, but I'm open to it. I always stay open to the possibilities. Well, the last couple of days I was introduced to a lady online. And so we, she and I have been talking for the past couple of days and uh, we're going to meet tonight and, you know, go for have go have Mexican and just, you know, see what the real live interaction face to face is like, because we've done the online back and forth. So we've done the digital, which was cool. Then last night we did the voice to voice. So we talked on the phone for, you know, a couple hours or so. And uh, and that was that went well, which is, of course, why we're going to the next step, which is to meet face to face. And I'm uh, willing to admit that I feel a little excited to meet her. And, you know, that excitement, you know, makes me a little nervous, too. But for me, I understand what that nervousness means because I'm an athlete. I'm a jock. So any time that I was competing, I would always feel a little nervous before the start of the event or the game and that lets me know that I'm locked in that I'm engaged that I'm really wanting to do well and that I'm looking to have fun right it's just that for me it's the impetus to enjoy what I'm doing and when I have that little nervousness and that excitement that lets me know that I'm I'm engaged I'm locked in and so I am, I'm locked in and I'm really excited and looking forward to meeting her. And the expectation is to have a great time, to meet another wonderful individual, another wonderful person, and just to see if there's something there beyond a plutonic friendship. Because of course, you know, we met on a dating site. So um, the ultimate goal is always to, to move forward in a, you know, a more of a dating manner but if that's not there that's fine if it is that's fine too but it's it's good it's going to be fun to just entertain that that element in that space because I haven't really done that for a couple years now I mean a little you know we've I've had several misses a lot or a handful of misses here and you know throughout those two years that two-year period but but this one is is a little more interesting and and she's a lot more like me in personality so um, so it's going to be cool to kind of, you know, interact with her face to face and in real time. So what I'm saying is you've got to have that confidence to do those new things, to try those new things, to be willing to admit that you're a little nervous, that you're a little excited. Because why? That's who you are. And that's who we are as human beings. We, it's OK to be that. And it's OK to say that. Because when you do that and say that, that's what gives you the power. That's what gives you the confidence. That's what makes you sexy, right? That's what being sexy is, is being willing to admit how you feel and who you are and being good with it, regardless of how other people respond or react to it. And so now I connect that to self-love. Self-love, loving yourself, taking care of yourself being appreciative of yourself, being confident in yourself, being vulnerable, having that ego is what really makes you sexy. So when people look at you, they're like, whoa, that something about that person. It's something about that person. There's a lot of things about that person that is attractive, that, you know, is alluring, that is powerful. And the way that you do that is you is through self-love by really honing in on who you are and appreciating yourself and, and enjoying your power and your talents and your gifts, as well as your challenges, acknowledging your challenges and improving you know, where, where necessary, when you feel the need and just allowing life to unfold and experiencing it, its full breath, being cool with it, the highs, the lows, the mids, everything. That's what makes you sexy. 
And so that's what I want for everybody to feel because everyone should feel that way. That's our set point. But we allow, you know, certain things that come up in our lives to knock us off of that goal. And that's not cool. We all deserve to be in that place of power, that place of confidence to to exude that integrated level of ego where we're comfortable in, in our own skin and who we are. And we're comfortable growing. We're comfortable making mistakes. We're comfortable stepping out and dating again. We're comfortable going after that new job or starting that new business. You know, we're comfortable having those heart to heart conversations with our loved ones, our kids. You know, we're comfortable making life changes, moving from the from the Midwest to the Caribbean. We're comfortable in making those decisions and being the captains of our lives. You know, it's cool to be the king and the queen, right? Because that's what we are. We're all king and queens. So we have to be that. So that's what I mean by sexy. So whenever you think about the title of the podcast, just keep that in the back of your mind is that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying, you know, self-love is that new sexy. Self-love is the way to that confidence, is the way to, to have that power to maintain it and to be the full king and queen that you really are. So I'm going to end on that note. Thanks again for hanging out with me. You know, subscribe to the show. Uh, leave me a comment. Rate the show. Let me know what your thoughts are. And stay tuned. And I look forward to speaking with you all again very soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.